guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a talk through tutorial on this look here, which I'm wearing. I use the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, which I find so hard to say, <laughs> and this has just been released on Cult Beauty, so I got my hands on it straight away when it came, and it has how many shades? 18. They're all reminiscent of a desert in at dusk <laughs> so these are the shades here and they're all warm tones which i love i love warm tone shades and i've seen a lot of reviews on this and i was a bit scared to use it because some of them weren't so good but if you want to see my thoughts on this product please keep watching so i'm going to start with the shade eden i want to try and keep this look quite red so i'm going in with that eden shade which is like a peachy color I'm just going to put this in my crease and bring it quite far in because I'm going to do a cut crease. There isn't that much fallout. I, I was expecting there to be quite a lot of fallout but there isn't on this shade. And the pigment is definitely there and it's blending out amazing. I'm going to blow out this inner corner quite a lot just because I want that cut crease to be a little bit more dramatic. So I spent quite a while blending that colour just to make sure it was really soft and that shadow blended perfectly as you can see there's no harsh lines at all and I really really like that shade. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Amber which is a ready orange tone and I'm just going to do the same as what I've done before with that shade but just keep it a little bit lower. So this shade is not that much darker but it's going to give you that depth and what I'm noticing about these shadows is they're not, this sounds bad, but they're not incredibly pigmented when you first put them on the eye but they're really easy to build up which is what I like with the shadow. So I'm just keeping that in the crease area and bringing it far into that inner corner again. Then before I add any more pigment I'm just going to blend that out with the brush that I used for the Eden shade just to keep it so soft. I'm not taking any more products I'm just blending it out with a whatever, whatever was left on there. My rats have been so noisy at the minute and I just keep having to stop because they're <laughs> There you go, so that's nicely blended out and now I'm going to add a little bit more pigment See what I mean? They just build so well that you've got so much control over how much you're putting on. I'm not going to worry about this bit here because I will clean that up later. So I've got that to a nice amount of pigment now and I'm going to go in with Saffron which is a nice 
deepish red shade, which you can see. And I'm just gonna do the same again, but maybe not bring it as far into the inner corner this time, just keep it a little bit lower. These matte shades are working perfectly. I have no problems with these matte shades at all. I really like how they're working. I think it's when we get to the shimmer shade that it's gonna be maybe a bit interesting, we'll see. So keeping the shade in the crease, I'm not really dragging it up very much. But I am gonna be putting one more darker shade in there so bear that in mind because we do want to see this red shade but we just want it to blend into one now as you can probably already tell this is not going to be a natural look but i really want to try and use as many shades as i can from this palette because I want to get a good idea of how each of the textures work. So it might not be an everyday wearable look, but we're going with it. Now I'm bringing my eyeshadow quite low because I like to have my winged liner low. So if I don't, it means there's going to be a gap there. But feel free to do whatever shape suits your eye shape. I have really hooded eyes, so as you can see when my eyes go down, if I did a wing sort of high up here, it would get a bit distorted so if I put it low then it stays where it's been drawn and now the last shade in this crease matte um, area I'm going in with the shade Oud I think that's how you pronounce it and it's a deep it's the darkest shade in the palette and it's a um, deep brown shade I'm not going to put too much of this on but just to give it a bit of dimension and I'm keeping it right on the outer edge Then I'm going to take a little bit of saffron because I feel like I've lost a bit of that on my lid and just blend with that. I'm going to take a bit more oud and just deepen it again. It's better to keep adding and blending as you've got far more control over it that way than just sticking a load of pigment on and then not realising that you've made a mistake. Because <laughs> we've all been there. Plenty of time. I want to use this as an example. I recently got the um, one of the Marc Jacobs palettes, the Editorial palette. I've done a um, tutorial on it. And that one is so pigmented, it's hard to go light-handed. So, I definitely I had to try a few times to get that where I wanted it to be. This is not like that. This is much easier for a beginner to use um, because it's harder to go overboard, but you can still get, get that pigment that you want. I don't want to blend too much where we're going to lose all that nice gradient we've got going on. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to work eye by eye just because I'm going to make a mess otherwise. <laughs> I'm going to take a little flat shader brush and some concealer and I'm just going to go from that inner edge, cut the crease about up to about here and then I'm going to set it with some translucent powder. Now when I do this, because I've got hooded eyes, I tend to do it a bit higher and my eyes are not ideal for this look. If you've got really nice wide open eyes then this would look amazing but I just like to do it so I can utilise the shades a bit more. I like to open and close my eyelids so I know where that crease is going to sit. And then I'm going to just take a little bit of that saffron colour again just to blend into that concealer. Not too much as we're going to do that shortly, but it just gives us that starting point. 
So for the lid shade, I'm going to go with quite a light shimmer shade. So I'm going to go in with Nefertiti. I'm going to try this dry, but I'm probably it's probably not going to go on very well. And I would never use a shimmer shade like this without using a setting spray anyway. But we'll see what it's like. I'm using a flat um, synthetic brush. It's very dusty. Yeah, I... You can see it's just not sticking properly, so I'm going to use a setting spray, which is what I would do anyway, and I'm not going to judge a shimmer shade on that. I'm just using the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Let's hope this goes on a bit better. Much better. gonna layer that until I'm happy with the tone of it and don't worry if this line here is not as defined as you would like because mine is not so I'm gonna go in shortly and just you know deepen that outer edge a little bit I'm just gonna mist it again And I'm going to bring this quite far across just because I want it to open up my eye a little bit. And all the lights are out in the night. I'm alright. In hearts. And then. I don't know if it's going with Turkish Delight or Blood Moon. I really want to go in with Blood Moon, but I really think it's not going to look right on this look. But. Mm. No, I'm going to stick to Turkish Delight. I'm going to wet my brush again because this is another shimmer shade. Ooh, this one looks super creamy. Ooh. It's picked up a lot. <laughs> so, go in. Oh my god. That is stunning. That was one dip in my brush. So this line looks super harsh, so I'm just gonna wipe off my brush and we'll blend that together. I'm gonna blend the light into the dark. As best I can. So all I'm doing is I'm picking up the dry product, I'm not using the wet product now, and I'm just working this over that line. You can always go in and touch up if you lose anything. So I'm happy with the blend on that, and now I'm going to wipe this area, tidy it up a little bit. But it doesn't have to be too precise because I will go in later. When I do my eyeliner, I'll, I'll clean it up with concealer anyway. But this just gives me a nice guide for my eyeliner. So now it's eyeliner time. And I am going to do quite a thick wing today. Um, I think it'll look good with the dramatic makeup. And I'm using a tiny little Zoeva detail liner brush and my MAC Black Drac Gel Eyeliner. And I'm not going to be able to talk whilst doing this, so... Sorry.
So my eyeliner went on okay. As you can see, I have a little bit of texture on the inner corner because of that um, shimmer shade, but it's nothing you can't deal with. You'd probably be better off using a liquid liner than a gel liner, but I cannot use those pens to save my life. So I'm sticking with the gel and we'll clean it up shortly. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer and just clean up this wing a little bit, make it a bit more sharp. I do this every time, even if my wing's perfect. It just adds a little bit of lightness under there as well. put some mascara on I'm gonna use the benefit roller lash and I'll do this off-camera because I don't think there's anything much more boring than watching someone put mascara on <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put some false lashes on and finish my face which I'm not gonna do on camera because I'm doing a first impressions on the Fenty Beauty makeup so this might be up before that but I will link it below if it is already up and then I'll be back to do the lower lash line on my lower lash line I'm gonna start off by using a little purple eyeliner by Mars I think it is. I've never used this before, so I don't know what it's like, but let's do it. I'm right in hindsight, now is this is not very pigmented, but let's just keep going. Do not like this. And what's even more frustrating is I'm moving house, so I've packed away every other liner, <laughs> so we're going with it. Now, this may ruin the whole thing, but I'm going in with the shade Amethyst, which is a purple colour. I'm putting this on the outer edge and bringing it about halfway in. It's really pretty. I'm gonna actually use that Eden shade, what we used first in the crease to blend it out. That'll help tie everything in. So on the inner corner, I'm going in with a sh another shimmer shade, and it's called Twilight, and it's a purple shimmer shade, which I'm really excited about. Oh, oh, so pretty. And I'm bringing it sort of on the inner corner as well, just to tie it all in. I'm sorry if you can hear little nibbles. My rats have decided to have a feast. I love that shade, that is so nice. So now I'm just going in with my roller lash, roller lash, roller lash, roller lash mascara and just popping some of my lower lashes. So here is the finished makeup look and I am in love with it. I love it so much. And I especially love these purple colour. The palette itself, I love. I love it so much. And it is quite expensive, but for the amount of shadows that you get in it, it's totally worth it. I didn't have a problem with any of the shades, and I know a few people on YouTube have had problems with the shades, so I don't know if there's a batch issue, but using those shimmer shades wet, was they worked perfectly I mean look it stands out so well and they all blended together seamlessly and I just love every shade that I tried I especially love that Turkish delight shade that red shade that we put there and also the inner corner shade that we use the twilight shade I totally love it and I can see myself getting so much use out of this in the autumn months to come because these shades just scream autumn to me so I really hope you enjoyed my talk through tutorial on this and if you did please give me a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.